Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Christian's Crafty Adventures. Thank you so much for being here. If it's if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Expect some crafty goodness. Um, for my friends that have been here and have been with me through the journey, thank you so much. I just hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you, thank you for everybody who subscribed to my channel, all my friends and family as well. Thank you so much for the support. And today, we're still doing our 6 by 6 paper pad and stamp challenge. So, um, the challenge is to make embellishments using only these two materials. So, you can't use ephemera, you can't, pre you can't use pre-made ephemera or any stickers. The object is to make your own um, embellishments using only the paper, the 6 by 6 paper, and the stamps. So what I'm doing is what I have with me is I have some Doodlebug new re released products that they have. And so we're going to be using that. This is what we have. And I've already showed you the girls. I think some of them I've already showed you. Um, I want to show you the boy version of this collection. They are so, so beautiful. Um, I got this from three craft chicks um and that's where you can find the products and they ship super quick this is called the hay cupcake collection which is the girl version and the party time which is the boy version so i've used half um sorry about the crinkling i've only i've only used half of the six by six because I'm going to do something else with a half of them. So technically, this is one whole pad. And then I stamped and colored these stamps. So that's that's the challenge. Is to only use the stamp and the 6x6. Six six. So, enough with the introduction. I want to show you what I made um, for the boy uh, for the boy version. Which is called Party Time. It's so, so cute, you guys. Um, go ahead and take a look. I'm going to put a link on Three Crafts Chicks website down below so you can check them out. They ship very quick and they are coming from Washington. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have, we have this paper clip and I just stamped the llama. This is what it looks like. Stamped it and colored it with my Uhuhu markers. So we have the llama. I have a lot more stamped images, like really a lot, because um, I really went to town and did a lot of them. So that's that. I'm going to put this right here so you can see. This one is just a simple banner. Um, the elephant is so, so cute. And then they're on foam dots that I get from the Dollar Tree. And then my... My punch flower. I made some bows as well using a Stampin' Up! bow punch. Um, this is what that looks like right there. So that. I thought it would be so cute for any kind of package. I'm thinking, let me know if this works, uh, if you agree. I'm thinking the next part is making treat bags using the remainder of these. Treat bags or, yeah, I think treat bags. Something to share. Something shareable. A treat bag or, yeah, I think a treat bag would be perfect. Something to share with a special person that you appreciate so that we can use our embellishments. I thought, I think that would be so cute. So this is a rosette. Simple, not super layered, but just a simple, simple rosette. <laughs> here's another simple one just a cupcake here's a layered for kind of paper that you can put on top of a gift bag here's a cute popsicle we need to layer that up more I have some sentiments that I just did very recently so here's that one you can put this on top of like a card right there that'd be so cute 
a simple one and then you can cut um, a printed paper and then put this in the middle um, that's for girls so I made this ice cream all we need I think is an embellishment right here and then we can pop this on foam dots and that's gonna be a great embellishment I think that would be so so cute here's another one I was uh, really making a lot of these banners I think that's so cute if you put that right there in the middle of a card. Very simple and easy, easy, easy to make. Here's a simple um, paper clip. That could be in a planner. You can add this to a birthday card so that the recipient can use it after. And then I made some balloons. These are just layered and then we can add it to for example the elephant holding on to the balloon right here if you want like a small right there so that's what I was going for here's a smaller balloon you can choose whatever side you like and this is made up of three and then here's another banner. So I guess I made a lot of banners. Because I was I was touching this project maybe a week ago. Because I was, I, I'm into normally multiple projects. So when I get sick of, you know, when I'm done playing with a specific um, collection, I set it aside and then go back to it when I'm ready. So cute. I love how it came out, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you have any suggestions so that I can make it better, that would be so appreciated. Cute mason jar. Super simple. And then my favorite coffee, coffee cup. So cute. Oh, this is a cute one. If I was going to name this guy, this puppy is going to be named Scruffy. So cute. Oh my gosh. Super simple, but super cute, I think. And then I made these um, balloon hearts. So a character could be holding that as well. Let me... Let me get a character. Just a moment. I'm going through this pile of... No, he's already holding a balloon. Let me find somebody who's not holding anything. Sorry, guys. Okay, this guy is holding a balloon, but... Wait, that's not appropriate. Okay, so... He could be holding that and the balloon. The heart could be his balloon that he's holding. And then I made some of these tiny paper tassels, just using scraps. Um, this guy needs a little bit of a sentiment. Let's let's give it a sentiment. No, I'll find I'll find an appropriate sentiment for him for sure. Here's another balloon. And then here's the same guy, but in a paper clip. It's so cute. So darn cute. I love Doodlebug, guys. Let me know down below if you like Doodlebug as well. This is Brownie. The other one is scruffy. This is brownie. And then, ooh, this is the smallest super tiny paper tassel. So small. I hope you can see that. And then some just layered hearts just as an embellishment. This would be cute to package up like this and then put um, a glue dot in the back. Here's monkey. Wouldn't it be cute to package this up like this? Right there. Where's our other? There. 
and then I think this one is coming from the opposite side this one is a um, cake isn't that cute I think it's really really cute and then here's another one but this is still coming from the right side but this is happy birthday um put it right here that's what it looks like i think it's so cute and simple and really really easy to do and mass produce um when i when i play with paper collections i just like to do a lot of them and then be done so I just do like a couple of sittings like two to three sittings and then I move on to another collection but I couldn't stop making stuff for this because it's so so cute just a simple heart a layered heart right looks uh, something that you can buy this one is just a simple non-decorated but multi-layered um, balloon i use a balloon punch for that i got that as stampin up as well so it was so easy to punch i just made a lot of them right there so cute so so cute so i just so I hit a thousand subscribers um, today, but here's another bow. But so I tried to do um, a YouTube live, but I'm still not eligible. So I don't know what else to do. I'm still not eligible to to do a live. I don't understand. Uh, I need to look it up a little bit further. Um, I really want to do that. So here's another one. So there's, we did a lot of stuff just by half, half of this. And I have a little bit of scraps left over, but not a lot. Um, yeah, it's not even an entire sheet of it. So this is what we have for that. And then I have these in the pile to still play with, so... This would probably be, you know, some more flags, paper clips. These two, I have these cut aparts to use. So cute. Maybe I'll add it here, like this. You know, and then I have a lot more images to use as ephemera. So many, many more. So I'm so, so happy with that. I cut a little. So yeah, that's what we have. And for the girls section, I think I did additional, um, additional ones. And I have still leftovers. And I have some more punch flowers. These are what's left. I have some more um, of these. I don't know what it's called. Thought bubble, speech bubble. So yeah, there's a lot more stuff to play with. And I think this would be really great if once we start making some gift packages or treat bags. So, okay guys, that's it for me today. I hope you had a wonderful time looking at what we have been able to make using the party time collection from Doodlebug. So this is half, and I'm going to use the half of it to make some um, gift bags. And that's going to be on the next video. Small treat bags, um, etc. So we'll go from there. So, okay. Thank you so much, guys, for being here, for joining and coming along in this process. I hope that this inspired you to use your craft stash today. Um, thank you for your support. I absolutely appreciate it. And guys, please stay safe, stay strong, and as always, have a wonderful crafty day. I hope you can consider subscribing to my channel down below. And uh, if you would like 
to be notified if I have new videos, click the notification bell down there. Thank you so much, friends. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful crafty day. Bye.